Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Secretary of State, colleagues. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming to Ukraine, especially these days. Uh, not simple period for Ukraine and a tough period for, for the East of our country, for our warriors. Thank you that uh, you came, especially these days, to support Ukraine. Thank you for this signal. Also, I wanted to thank you from all my team, all Ukrainians, to a uh, crucial package for our uh, forces, for our warriors. Thank you so much for this package. Thanks to Congress. Thanks, President Biden. Please, best regards from, from us to him and to administration. We are thankful for part bipartisan support. And uh, I know you did a lot also for this positive uh, decision and and of course we are very thankful for for this to americans to american people uh, so big appreciation from ukrainians to americans for this i want to discuss with you about uh, some today uh, about some i think very important issues uh, the first the decision of the package was crucial for us, it's very important to get it as quick as possible. And the second one uh, point is air defense, the biggest deficit for us. I think that the biggest problem, uh, yes, and uh, and uh, we need, really, we need today two patriots for Kharkiv, for Kharkiv region, because they are, the people are under attack, civilians and warriors, everybody there under Russian missiles. And uh, of course, I want to discuss security guarantees, mm -hmm. how our teams work on it, and, uh, and the peace summit, which is very important for us. We need participation, um, not only United States. We need your, uh, we need President Biden, and also your help to involve as much as possible countries to peace summit. And, I think a lot of things. You're very welcome. Thank you. Well, Mr. President, thank you very, very much. And uh, first, it's very good to be back in, in Ukraine. Very good to see you. I bring as well uh, warm greetings from President Biden. Thank you. All of us admire your extraordinary resilience, uh, your endurance, your strength, uh, your leadership. And we know this is a challenging time. But we also know that um, in the near term, the assistance is now on the way. Uh, some of it's already arrived, more of it will be arriving, and that's going to make a real difference against the ongoing Russian aggression uh, on the battlefield. And we're determined, uh, along with many other partners for Ukraine, uh, to make sure that you succeed on the battlefield. We're equally determined that over time, uh, Ukraine stands strongly on its own feet, militarily, economically, democratically. A strong, successful, thriving, free Ukraine is the best possible rebuke to Putin uh, and the best possible guarantor for your future. And for all of that, the United States is and will remain a committed partner. We've traveled a long road together uh, these past couple of years, uh, and we've seen the extraordinary courage of the Ukrainian people. Uh, and we know that that courage uh, endures, and that only reinforces our determination to do everything we can to help ensure your success. Uh, as you've mentioned, there are a number of uh, critical issues that are now uh, before us for the months ahead, uh, and we want to make sure that together, as long, uh, along with many other partners, uh, that uh, we make these next months uh, successful, that we deal with the challenges uh, that you have, uh, and that we push through all of them, and, and we do it together. So I'm eager to uh, discuss all of that with you, and thank you again for having us today.